Hi, I'm Jack Buffington for RobotBrigade.com. This is another video in my series of videos about digital logic, and in this one I'm going to talk about magnitude comparators. Let's take a look at how we would uh, figure out if A is greater than B, less than B, or equal to B with uh, decimal numbers. Let's say I have the numbers 42 and 15. And I need to compare these to figure out which one's bigger than the other or if they're equal. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the most significant, significant digit. And I can see, oh, okay, 4 is greater than 1. So this is the biggest number. But let's say they had another number ahead of them. Well, I'm going to start looking at the most significant digit but if they are equal, then I need to look at this column instead. And if that column happened to be equal, then I need to look at this one. And so on and so forth throughout the digits. And when we do it in binary, it's, it's the exact same thing. So to de determine for each bit, um, bit ranking, I don't know how really to say that, but uh, if I have several bits like this, for each column of bits, we're going to perform the following calculation. So if A is equal to B for that column, this will evaluate to true. Right, so if they're both one, this term will evaluate, evaluate to one. And if they're both zero, then this is 0 inverted and 0 inverted, so it's 1 and 1, which would evaluate to a 1. So A equals B is that. If A is greater than B, then it's A B bar. And if A is less than B, we have A bar B. Okay. Now let's take a look at, I'll leave these here for a minute. Let's look at the formulas for, uh, I'm going to implement a, or I'll, I'll write the formula for a 3-bit magnitude comparator, but I'm only going to show you with a 2-bit a when I make an actual circuit diagram. So uh, if A is greater than B, this is the logic formula that you need to use. A, B bar, or 2, A, B bar, X, 2. And I should say, actually, that this term right here is X sub I, I representing what bit column it was in. And finally, we have A, 0, B bar, 0, X, 2, X, 1. And how we can interpret this is, well, we know from here, A greater than B for the most significant bit is just simply this. Well, if that evaluated to zero, then we're going to look at the next bit column. And so if uh, this is true and the previous uh, bit column was equal to each other, then this will evaluate to one. But let's say that didn't evaluate to zero. All right, so 0, 0. Now here we have final chance with the least significant bit. If A is greater than B here and the previous uh, more significant bits were equal to each other, then this will evaluate to 1 and A is greater than B. All right, A less than B is just pretty much the same thing. So it's A bar B 2, 2, or A bar 1, B1, X2, or A0 bar, B0, X2, X1. All right, and it's just working the same way. We're looking at the most significant bit and putting, putting priority on it. And each of these bits, in order to register that A is less than B, the more significant bits have to have been equal. All right, and then finally, 
if a equals b, then what we have is x2, x1, x0. So if all three of these terms are 1, then a equals b is true. All right. Because of how much board space I have, I'm only going to show how to implement a 2-bit magnitude comparator, but I think you can jump off of that and figure out any number of bits past that. So it's a little bit different than how we uh, calculated it here for A equals to B, but uh, A1, B1, so let me just draw it and then I'll start talking. Okay, so here we have our term. In this case, this is A, B bar, so that would be A is greater than B for this bit. And this one is A less than B because this is A, A bar B. Okay, and then to find our A equals B term or our X sub I term, we uh, run this into an or, or a NOR gate, and this is our x sub i, or a equals b. All right, and then to make this a multi-bit, I'm going to just do one more of these. Okay, so now I have uh, my least significant bit and our most significant bit. So let's take a look at, in this case, it would look like this, what I'm calculating. Hmm. Okay, I should erase the other things. This is going to be A1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 0. All right, hopefully that's not too confusing. All right, so A is greater than B. So we need to take the A uh, B bar term here and run that uh, into an OR gate. And then this A greater than B is uh, anded with X1. And that is brought into the OR gate, and this is the final A greater than B. All right, so this is coming off right here. That's this term, and this is A, B bar, and X1. Coming into an OR gate, that's this, and out it comes. All right, and in the interest of clarity, I'm going to erase that back off, and I'm going to draw A less than B now. So A less than B is uh, A bar B, and it's run into an OR gate. And then uh, we've got this A bar B, but I need to run it into an AND gate like that, and out we come. So A less than B. All right, pretty much the same thing as A greater than B. And finally, let's do A equals to B. This one's the easiest. I just take the different uh, X1 and X2s, run that into an AND gate, and here we have A equals to B. Just like that. So hopefully this was useful to you if you if you did find it useful, you might be interested in taking a look at my other videos on my YouTube channel.
For robotbrigade.com, I'm Jack Buffington.